And welcome back. I've done the empties for ages. So let's do an empties that have kept me sane in lockdown. <laughs> and you'll see the way my skin has gone through lockdown. Let's start with right at the beginning when it was feeling great and I was happily using loads of retinol. Oh, you know how much I love Neostrata. This is the Neostrata Nag Complex Retinol. And yes, I still peel with it. <laughs> this is what I was using back in March and it is one of those retinols that I, I highly recommend, I really do. I was just looking for the lid for it, but I appear to have a random lid here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I love it, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a really good quality, uh, I believe it's 1% retinol. It certainly makes me peel like a 1% retinol anyway. And it's one of those ones that I tend to, hence the fact I was using it in January, um, February and March, I tend to use it in winter because it does leave my skin slightly peeling, but it's brilliant and it really gives results. And if you can stick with it, I love it. I know lots of people that say they can't use it and that it's too strong. I also know lots of people that use it and go, God, I don't have any problems at all, lucky you. Just because something doesn't make you peel doesn't mean to say it isn't working. Trust me, a well-formulated retinol should be relatively easy to get used to. It gets me to, the, I have to get to the bottom of this before my skin gets used to it. And then I switch off to a bit of Medicaid or a bit of Paula's Choice. I've never peeled with Paula's Choice, bit of Medicaid. And then I start the, the routine all over again. So anyway, it's because I tend to use slightly re less retinol in summer. It was absolutely brilliant. I love it, I highly recommend it. However, when my skin was playing up, this is what I always turn to. This is the lid I was just playing with, trying to find what it belonged to. This is my skin SkinCeuticals, and this is my Metacell Renewal. And this is uh, essentially a, a B3 niacinamide loaded with humectants, really beautiful daily moisturizing gel cream. I absolutely love it. It's probably my all time favorite barrier repair function gel cream. So when my skin is playing up, if I've overdone the acids or I've overdone the retinol, it's my first step and I really, really, really love it. Now the most annoying thing is it's actually, it looks like it's full, but it's not, it's empty. That's just an inner white opaque. <laughs> so if you're waiting for it to go down, don't, just one day you'll start to pump and nothing will come out. I'm just warning you. The only thing I can complain about skin SkinCeuticals, I absolutely love it. It's really, really beautiful. If you have the budget, it teams beautifully with a retinol, it teams with any retinol, it really will. It'll buffer it out. It just gives your skin that huge dose of niacinamide to help repair, plus all the humectants, plus gentle emollients. It's just a beautifully formulated product. It goes great under makeup as well. Um, Another one that you can't tell is empty until it's empty. I finished this probably the day that Hada Labo went into Superdrug at long last, even though I've been teasing it for ages. Sounds like it's got something in there, but it really hasn't. It's empty, it's completely empty. It lasted me a long time. It's a super watery, easy to use, loaded with um, three different molecular weights, hyaluronic acid. It's Hada Labo, lotion number one. I I think it's 16 pounds in Superdrug. When I got these, this is when I got them off Amazon at the official Hado Labo store back in the day. Now what's interesting is it's very, very, very different to the Hado Labo gold lotion that everybody's obsessed with. It's much more akin to the lightweight bluer lotion. This is lovely for summer. It's lightweight, it's watery, it's super runny, goes on really nicely, but you do need to seal it with something. It isn't enough on its own. Whereas the gold Hado Labo original Japanese packaging one you could technically use on its own. The difference is I think the Gold Hada Lava one has a lot more glycerin in. This is purely three weights of molecular, um, of multi-molecular hyaluronic acid. It's really lovely, I like it. This is what I was using on top of it and this is empty and this is indeed Hydration Booster. Now I believe this has been repackaged to say that it has uh, niacinamide in it because it, it's one of the reasons I like it. Um, so this is basically a budget version of this um, slightly thinner, um, but it's becoming increasingly hard to get in the UK. If you're in the States, I, I do believe it's been available and it's been repackaged as hydration booster with niacinamide. It's hard to get here in the UK, so I think we might have to slightly retire this for now. That's my last bottle. And that is the Indeed Hydration Booster. If you're in the States, you can get it. If you're abroad, you can get it good on you, but it's hard to get in the UK. So what I always say is you put your hyaluronic acid on first, you put the the hydration glycerin stroke niacinamide over the top. So that one, and then that one, or that one, and then that one. Bye bye, I think it might be officially retired. What else was I using at the beginning of lockdown? This is my Good Jeans, uh, but it's the Good Jeans Sunday Riley Lactic Acid, and that's now empty as well. 
that's got a slightly opaque packaging as well so you can't see till you get the bottom you're going to apply it one night and suddenly there's a sort of grumpy squirt rather than that lovely squelch of product and um, when I go back to the states I will that could be the first thing I, I stock up on. I love lactic acid, I really do. It suits my skin, I think it suits most skin. It's derived originally from milk, so for me it tends to be a lot more hydrating. It suits everybody. This is a super high strength one, so if you've got any nicks or cuts on your skin, be careful, but I love it. You get hardly any peeling with it because it hydrates and it exfoliates overnight at the same time. I really love this product. At the moment, because this has run out, I'm using the 5% Garden of Wisdom one from Victoria Health uh, Lactic Acid, which is lovely, um, but it's just a, a lightweight clear gel, so it doesn't have the same humectants and emollients in that that one does. I've got two products here for hair, and then I've got one for body, and I've got a mascara that I've used to the last bit. Uh, I've used the Whey uh, Fine Hair Shampoo until the very last drop, as you can see. Now here's what I'll say about it. It smells amazing. I genuinely like the Whey products. It stripped my colour. I mean, this isn't the sun, trust me. I don't, I, I try and avoid the sun where at all possible. Both, this is the one for um, fine hair and there's one for medium hair, so I can't tell which one stripped my colour, but they both basically took the colour out of my hair. And I think that's really interesting. More recently, I've been using a couple of things to repair my hair. This is the first time I used things over the summer that were just to cleanse my hair. And it's very interesting how we always sort of poo-poo using reparative or colour protect shampoos and conditioners. This is the first time, I've, and it's the only thing I can think of that, that basically stripped the colour out of my hair. So I've got I've gone considerably blonder. I mean, my roots are darker because I've dyed my, my roots darker. Um, but it's even stripping out that dark bit at the back of my hair. Um, so yes. Brilliant for virgin hair, brilliant for fine hair. There's a medium one, there's one for thicker hair as well, I believe. Just probably not a good, and they smell amazing. I mean, they're beautifully fragranced. No wonder the, uh, the way has a fragrance range as well. You can tell that Jen Atkin has a really good nose for great fragrances. Um, but probably not a great idea for coloured hair. But, or Jen, please create a range for coloured hair. Thank you. Uh, the other range that I always rely on a lot is the Living Proof one. This is the Restore Conditioner. I've used a lot of Living Proof in lockdown and I do love their conditioners. Um, their shampoos are great as well. The, in fact, the only reason, I'll be really honest, that I swapped out to Whey was because my scalp was getting so oily and so greasy and so sweaty because it was so hot here. It was like mid-30s for the last couple of weeks and you just wake up and your hair's sticky and it's disgusting. You just want something that smells nice that cleanses your hair. So that's why I was using the Way shampoos, but actually generally I'm a kind of living proof, Virtue Lab, Josh, Wood type person, Kerastyles, Redkin, something that is actually designed to repair hair as well. And this is the Living Proof Restore Conditioner. Love it. Didn't weigh my hair down, left my hair detangled, easy to use, easy to style, just really nice product, really lovely. All of their masks are great as well. Um, I've got one here that's sort of got a tiny bit in. It's a bit sort of squidged out and a bit empty. And that is the Dipra Base Daily Moisturising Cream. And it's something I've been using on my skin when I've been sensitive in the summer. I will actually use it on my face as well. I really like it. It's designed for all over. Uh, but I've been using it on my body in summer as well when it's been feeling a little bit dry and a little bit irritated. Um, it's... That has a sister product called Itch Relief Cream, which is really, really lovely if you've got sensitized hands. But I first started using this on my hands from using too many washing um, solutions, uh, uh, hand washes, anti uh, back hand gel, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really lovely. I would use it on my face quite happily if I had a slightly dry, irritated skin. It calms skin, it helps repair the barrier function. That and the Itch Relief Cream are amazing products. I highly recommend them. And then finally, uh, I've come to the bottom of another Max Factor Masterpiece Max. It's such a great all-in-one flexible brush mascara. If you want something that adds volume, separates lashes, adds length, adds depth of colour, but doesn't give you too much of an over-the-top look, this, by the way, is the new Charlotte Tilbury one, which I kind of love. It's the uh, Pillow Talk uh, push-up mascara, and it's a kind of comb, and it 
go onto my Instagram at Nadine Bagger and have a look at my review of it. I love it. Anyway, this was what I was using um, just at the beginning of lockdown and it still deserves a hero product. If you want an everyday, great, reasonably priced, does it all mascara, goes on in a single coat, never clogs, never flakes, never smudges, this is one to try. There you go, that's my empties. Not too bad, what have we got? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> one retinol, one acid, two moisturizers, a serum, a shampoo, a mask, a body moisturizer and a mascara. I would actually recommend them all, including the whey shampoos. It's just that they don't su suit you if you, you, you're kind of trying to keep your hair color, lock color into your hair. So they probably wouldn't suit redheads. They're not suiting brunettes if you've gone gray. So what they do is they just tend to strip out the color from the gray hair because the gray hair is more porous. It loses and damaged hair, loses its color more quickly. So just be careful. But if you want something that's light, easy to use, and you know, doesn't detangle, doesn't tangle hair, doesn't strip hair or anything like that. It's just not specifically for coloured hair. And so, what I need to do is discover a way product for coloured hair. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. They are my empties. I haven't done one for ages. You know, I had to do it because tomorrow is recycling day, and all that lot needs to go into the recycling. I need to work out which one it goes into. We have a metal one. We have a glass one. We have a plastics one. I need to break it all up and see what I can recycle. Otherwise, they're just sitting in the corner of my office, slightly out of view all the time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon.